Hey, I'm going to show you how to improve your uh, frames per second in Arma 2, or as you want to call it, Arma 2 uh, Operation Arrowhead or the Arma 2 DayZ mod. Uh, this should work for all three of them, more or less. I'm using it right now in, in DayZ and it works quite fine. It helped me quite a lot. My frames per second used to be 22 frames per second and uh, 36 frames per second. And uh, that's not good since I'm getting over 100 frames per second in Battlefield 4. So this is not a question of is my PC strong enough or anything like that. No, this is just, uh, well, Arma 2 and uh, <clears throat> the Arma series in general have very bad driver optimization for your hardware. So yeah, it, it kind of sucks. So you can have the most powerful PC you want. Uh, it's gonna lag for this or that reason. If you don't lag and you get a, above 60 frames per second good for you if you don't this should more or less help you it doesn't mean it will work for everybody but uh, you know <clears throat> it's free and you know it's painless to try it all right firstly what i did is i i made a backup of all these files in here and even after that backup i still made a backup of these two files, this one and that one, and these are the two you're gonna change. These are my backups, I don't tamper with them whatsoever, I'm just gonna leave them as they are. Okay, after you did that, then you usually you would like, uh, you know, on the or, or on the you know, the old one, not the copy, the copy is your backup, the old one, right click on it, say open with, and then you choose WordPad. If WordPad does not show up here, click on this button and then it should be somewhere here. If it's not here, well, then you could just start and, uh, well, basically create a shortcut on the desktop and then browse to your desktop and, you know, click on it and say, okay, that should also work. Or you can just go in directly. Anyway, after you do that, after you open that file, click on it, it should look something like this. Now this is the modified one. The modified one, you go to GPU max frame rate ahead, change it to 1. And then you go to G GPU detected frame rate ahead, change it also to 1, and press on save. And then you press escape. Then you go to the Arma 2 uh, OA, do the same thing. You change the GPU max frame rate frames ahead to 1 and the GPU detected frame rates ahead to 1. Press save and then exit. Alright, once you've done with that, just exit out of here. And oh yeah, by the way, this is the, this is the original one. It should look like this. This is the original. This one and that one. GPU max frame rate 1000 and GP, uh, G, sorry, GPU detected frame rates ahead free. That should be the original. Anyway, and this is the other original. Exit out of that. Now, <clears throat> what you want to do is now go to your Steam. Alright. Then right click on Arma 2, go to Properties, Set Launch Options. Alright. Exactly as you see it here. Type it in. I'm just gonna make it bigger. In you know, I'm not sure if this is very visible in the video. Uh, this is what it should look should look like. CPU count equals eight. I have an eight core processor, so I'm putting it at eight. If you have a four core processor, you put it at four or two or whatever. How many cores you have or six, depending on what CPU you have. Anyway. Um, you put that in here, you press OK, you press Close. You go to the Operation Arrowhead to the same thing. Properties, Set Launch Options, Dash GPU Count equals 8, press OK, or 4, or whatever your, your, your CPU count is, press Close. Don't put it above, uh, above 4 if you only have 4 cores. And don't put it above six if you have only have six cores. Don't put it above two if you only have two cores. Keep make sure 
you know what CPU you have and how many cores you have. Otherwise, it will just be like uh, you know useless if you don't do it correctly. Now go to the Daisy mod, right click on it, properties, set launch options, dash CPU count equals, and then the number of cores you have. For me, again, it's eight. For you, it might be four or six or two, depending on what CPU you have. Press close, and then you launch the game. When you launch the game, you know your DayZ or Arma 2 or Arma Operation Arrowhead. Okay, <clears throat> you know when it gets so blurry and shit, go to your 3D resolution, change it to the same resolution as your as your current resolution of your screen, the one you use. Usually, the the native resolution is the best. For me, it's 1680 by 1050. Okay. Press OK. Um, depending on what graphics card you have, change this to normal or whatever, or whatever your, ta your taste is. But to get your frames per second working correctly and not lagging at 34 or 22 or whatever, if the CPU thing doesn't work for you, you can also do this. I did both since doing both helped me because right now I'm running at 124 frames per second plus, which is awesome. Anyway, uh, when you when you do get into the towns, when you do get into the towns, make note there is a lot of memory leakage to do with the buildings and the stuff and all the zombies. Even though there aren't that many zombies, it's some bloody bad driver optimization or glitch in the game that does this. Also, what seems to be um, doing a pretty good job of fix of fixing this, the PPAA, disable it. All right. The object's detail, put it on very low, okay? Don't put it on very high, put it on very low. Um, when I did this, my frames per second shut up even, shut up even more. <laughs> shut up. Anyway, it went up even more, and then you just press OK, and then you're done. Launch the game, you should have awesome frames per second. Anyway, have a nice day, people.